Have you ever wanted to make the absolute most minimal version of Windows? And I'm talking bare bones, strictly for gaming. That's what I'm doing in this video. Uh, I'm basically taking the official ISO from Microsoft. Download link is below, or you could just say download Windows 10 and get the official Windows uh, download. Now we are using the 2019 November edition, which is also referred to as 1909. So the latest and greatest version of Windows, we're customizing it, stripping all the components, everything out of Windows to make it as sleek and slim as possible. So that's what this video is about. And what this is going to do is give about a 10 second boot time. Uh, and I'm using it strictly as a game server. So I will still remain on Linux as a Linux desktop guy, but I want to stream all those Windows games with easy anti-cheat and other things that simply only play on Windows directly to my Linux box or maybe my TV or maybe my NVIDIA game shield. So uh, that'll be a later video. But for this video, let's go ahead and strip down this Windows box. Now we're going to start by, by downloading the ISO which uh, link is in the description. So if you don't click on that, download your ISO from Microsoft. And then number two, download the Major Geeks Toolkit. Uh, this is the tool we're gonna be using for today's video. Now, uh, about a year back, I did already a minimal ISO build. That video is about 40 minutes long. This one's gonna stick around 10 minutes as I'm cutting out a lot of the entry points of actually the download process and that type of thing. So download your ISO, download the toolkit, extract all these to kind of the same folder. The toolkit will also make a file folder structure, and I'll kind of just kind of put that up over on the string here. Out of this tool structure, you want to put the ISO you download directly into the ISOs folder, and you want to extract this ISO to the DVD folder. The DVD folder should have sources and some other stuff in there. Go ahead and have everything there. Now, I'm going to start this video out with the sources having an ESD file. Now, the 1909 release has this ESD file, but if your version you download doesn't, and it has a WIM file, you can skip the first part of this video. So with that said, that's where we're starting. Now I'll end this video with the actual compiling and basically just the making of the ISO uh, at the final portion of this. Now, if you need an ex a whole handhold like all the way through in slow motion. I do have the live stream where I did it all live with no fast forwarding, no cuts, nothing. Uh, that's about three hours long as many people wouldn't watch that long of a video as YouTube likes to stick around 10 minutes. We're gonna stick to that 10 minute standard. And with all that said, let's get on the desktop and start doing this custom Windows 10 installation. All right, so I've already downloaded the Major Geeks toolkit directly into here. If you download the Windows 10 ISO with the link below, you can put that right into here. There's an option to extract the ISO. I've already done this as I think pretty much anybody can do that. Uh, when you extract it, you're extracting it to the DVD folder. Uh, the DVD folder under sources is where we're gonna make the modifications happen. Sort by size, install.esd. Hopefully it's install.wim and you don't run into this problem. Uh, as boot is .wim, so we can modify WIM files, not ESD files. So that's one of the first things we're gonna do in there. So let's go ahead, go to our start and start into the Major Geeks Toolkit. We'll accept the terms. From the terms, we'll go to source and uh, we're gonna actually need to go back first and we need to convert ESD to WIM. So uh, let's go ahead, convert install ESD image to WIM. So first we'll go number seven. I'm, I'm using pro in as it doesn't have the integrated stuff. So let's go ahead and select that. Uh, in is the European version where regular pro is the United States version. Why I like the European version better is because Microsoft got sued with antitrust stuff and less things are bundled in uh, for that version. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this uh, complete. And from here, we'll have a WIM file for the install and the boot, and we can do all the modifications. All right, now we have the ESD image done. I wanna show real fast what that actually does. So back in our main uh, folder here, if we go into DVD and we go over to sources, you'll notice it changed that ESD file to a WIM file. It does add a little size to it, but we can actually manipulate it from here. So now the DVD directory looks proper. Oh, first we actually need to mount and, and do the source. So we'll go select source 
and we'll go number one. So uh, after we, we modify the image, we want to go into source and select it. And we'll mount both the setup boot image and the recovery image. All right, with that done, uh, we now have mounted the images. We've done all the conversion we need to do. Now we can actually remove our Windows components. So we'll go first into one remove inter uh, these, these components. We're going to go through each one of these, one through seven. Uh, this is a little bit tedious and cumbersome. Expect to spend a couple hours doing this. But once it's done, it's done. So we'll go into number one. We'll remove both Adobe Flash and Internet Explorer. So we'll just do all for all components. And yes. All right, with that finished, we'll have to go back. It spits it back to the main menu. Now we just go ahead and repeat all of this. Now we're going to do it for Windows components, Windows apps, and, and all of this throughout the whole thing. So uh, personally, I just stick to number one here. Number two and three are a little bit redundant. So I'm just going to go number one. We're going to go to me media and just go through each one of these. So for this, I would remove pretty much all of these except for media player a uh, media player is actually needed for certain games so uh we can actually go one just remove that first logo animation two and so but we want to skip media player on this list now i'm not going to go ahead and go through each one of these as i've already made a custom image but uh just know that that's what you're going to want to do for this uh custom image all right, back to number four and then number one for remove components, multimedia. Uh, on this one, I just wanted to show, make sure you go through each one of these, select each one except Windows Media Player as I think Rockstar Games, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a good example of that actually needs that component. So we're going to go back uh, for privacy. You would want to remove everything in here for the privacy a thing nobody really wants to that anything remoting same thing home groups complete garbage uh even as uh let's say i was using this windows machine for everything home group is just a horrible incarnation of networking by microsoft and no one really even uses it professionally so uh, same with remote assistance and multi-point connector so uh leave uh remove all those uh going to number five for system um on this one go ahead and remove everything here as well I, I don't like pretty much any of these so i go ahead and remove all of them uh you do notice that security center depends on windows defender and we're probably going to go ahead and remove windows defender as well uh going through from system to system apps uh, most of everything in here we will want to remove as well so on this one you could safely go ahead and remove all system apps but we're going to go ahead and go back and then for number seven, uh, this is all of the, the Windows apps. So from here, you'll want to remove pretty much every app. These are mainly Windows Store apps, so very safe to remove as I don't use Windows Store or any Windows applications with my custom image. So once you have all of those removed, you're pretty much ready to go. We'll go ahead and go back some more. Uh, now we can actually customize. So we'll go to number five to customize um, from here. We're going to disable some Windows features. So we can actually go to to disable Windows features and coming back in. So uh, remove Metro Apps Association, XML. You can go ahead and do that. Um, we can also go apply tweaks. First off, disable Cortana is pretty much a must. So disable that. And then we go five, eight. Um, let's see if there's anything else. I pretty much go through each one of these and move all of them to disabled. Um, one interesting one is force.net programs to the newest .NET framework. Um, that's an interesting tweak. I haven't actually used that one, but it's something that I might actually try on my next custom build. And that's it for tweaks. And then from here, you would go six to apply, and this would actually build the custom ISO. So if we go six to apply, um, we're going to go ahead and say apply and save changes to source images. So we would do that. And then when you go save target, this is when you'd actually make the ISO after you saved and applied your images, you'd want to build the ISO image to spit back out all from this, in, this, uh, this one. So I like to just make the ISO image here and then take that ISO, save it somewhere safe and then burn it to like a USB drive or whatever. But I always like to have that source ISO file just in case I want to come back here and go, you know what? 
uh, there's a little bit more I'd like to, to tweak here. The big thing there was the Windows Media Player. Uh, I highly recommend leaving that one as I did run into problems with Rockstar Games and Red Dead Redemption 2. But everything else, I pretty much did a remove all during my live stream. If you want to see the entire uh, walkthrough process, it's about three hours long of me doing this. You totally can over on uh, my streams channel. I'll put the link to that full video there where you can see me walk through this entire thing. All right, with Windows 10 ISO made from this toolkit, you can easily use Rufus or Etcher to go ahead and take that ISO, burn it onto your local USB stick. With your USB stick in hand, go ahead and pop that in your machine and start your Windows 10 installation. Uh, again, check the link in the description for the live stream of this as that showed the entire process start to finish uh, if you're unsure of where I'm going with this video or if it's maybe your first couple times doing a custom Windows install, uh, you might refer to that video if you want to see the entirety of it. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. And as always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.